to attract the best people, the best ideas, the best opportunities. You want to be able to sell your vision, to sell people on your product, on the hardest of things to sell yourself. But you're not sure how. You don't want to seem like a used car salesman. You want to be an attractive person. You want to have what people call an attractive personality. And I've read a bunch of books like How to Win Friends and Influence People or books by Napoleon Hill. And time and time again, the same things appear. The same things are talked about about having an attractive personality. And sometimes they talk about this in a bit of a woo-woo way, of a law of attraction kind of thing. And sometimes it, they don't. But there are some things that are always mentioned. There are some things that they always talk about in these books. And many times we look at these books and we think, wow, this, this is a cliche book. This is a book that has a dumb name, How to Win Friends and Influence People. But these books are gold. These books have everything that you'll ever need to know about talking to other people, about influencing other people. And they are sure worth a shot. And they're sure worth a reread if you've read them. If you really pay attention. So what are some of the things that you should do if you want to have an attractive personality? And when we talk about an attractive personality, according to this book, that's basically a compilation of the best ideas by Napoleon Hill. And if you guys don't know, Napoleon Hill was the official compilator, the official biographer of Andrew Carnegie, which was one of the most powerful and richest man of his time. So he knows a thing or two about how to attract wealth, how to attract opportunities to his side. So here he talks about an attractive personality is based in love, empathy, kindness, integrity, and honesty. Just by doing this, the the gates of the world will open to you. And then he goes on to talk about how we are powerful centers of energy and how we can feel the influence of other people's energy as well when they talk to us and when they're near us. And how by doing the things that will give you an attractive personality that will make you a person that attracts other people, that attracts value that attracts wealth, how you might transform from a regular Joe or the average Joe or Jane into an incredible leader, into a great leader. And this can happen overnight. You just need to change those things inside yourself. So the first thing we talked about is being someone that has that good vibe, you know, that good energy, someone that thinks about helping others. How can I help you? How can I help you with whatever it is, whatever you are willing to help other people to bring them some value to whatever it is, it may be just a smile, just a hello might make someone's day. So you are always willing to find things in which you can help and which you can provide and which you can be of service to other people. That's the first thing that they talk about. And when you do it, you need to come from a place of genuine interest. So the story that they tell here in this book, they use it as an example, was of uh, an insurance salesman. So he was, one of his first days at the job as an insurance salesman and the guys wanted to prank him. So they, they said, Let, let's get this rookie and let's give him the hardest job that he for sure won't be able to sell to this guy. So they tell him that there is a guy that's an artist and that he will be a very easy sell, that 
it, it's super easy, Rook. You just go ahead and, and sell him our, our things, our insurances. But the thing is, actually, that artist was a terrible client in the eyes of the other salesman. He had never bought anything from them. And to their mind, they never would. He never would buy anything from them. So that's why they sent the rookie as a prank because they thought he would never be able to sell anything. So a few hours later, the rookie comes by with that huge smile, super happy. And they asked him what happened. And he was like, man, you won't believe it. I made the most incredible sale. And here's what happened. Well, first of all, the rookie had a bit of a Pygmalion effect. So when you put a good expectation into someone, they tend to rise to that expectation. It's the same thing that happens to kids. If, if you tell a kid that they're smart, they will try to rise to that expectation. They will put it in their mind. The same thing will happen if you tell them that they're not smart, then they will try to make the self-fulfilling prophecy. So that was one thing. But the other thing was that when he got there to the artist's house, the artist was painting. And the rookie didn't come and say, well, let's talk about the insurance policies that we have. Let's talk about insurance and yada, yada, yada. No, he came and he was genuinely interested about what the artist was doing because he also liked art. So he started talking to him and asking him questions about what he was painting, asking him questions about his paintbrush or about the, the paint that he was using. He was asking all of those questions about him, about his art. He wasn't asking him to talk about the insurance. He wasn't selling. He didn't even sell at the end of the day. And after a while of talking and the artist was opening up, he was lighting up because all of the other salesmen, they never asked him about himself. They never asked him about his art. They just wanted to know what was in it for them. They just wanted to sell him their insurance and they weren't exactly thinking about the client, the artist. So the, the rookie, by doing that, he got leads and leads ahead because all of, he was the only one who was genuinely interested in him. And the artist himself, after a while said, so what do you do? And like, how can I help you? And he told him that he was an insurance salesman. And eventually the artist asked about all of the insurances, the insurance policies that he could have and that he could give him. And eventually he sold a bunch of policies to him, to a guy that had never bought anything from their insurance company. So just by being present and by asking him genuine questions and by being interested in him and in what he liked and the things he liked, the guy sold more than all of the other ones, more experienced salesmen had ever sold. So that's a key thing about having a, an attractive personality is by being genuinely interested. And that's the thing about being genuine. It has to be something that you actually like. It's not just let's compliment something just for the sake of the compliment, because people know when you're doing it just for the sake of the compliment, just to try to make them feel happy. No, you need to look for something that you can actually say that's good, something that you actually like. So maybe you like their t-shirt, maybe you like their hairstyle, maybe you like something. And everyone has something that you might like. Everyone will have something that you can genuinely be interested in if you are open to it. So another thing, that will help you with your attractive personality is to have energy, to have good energy, to have that good vibe. You know, it's something that is transmitted when you smile, it's transmitted with your firm handshake or when you say hello from a distance, the way you talk, the way your face transmits that energy, the way you speak, Depending on your tone, you might come across as arrogant. You might come across as someone who doesn't have much self-confidence. So depending on how you speak to other people, you will come across differently. So 
you need to bear in mind the energy and the energy that you will transmit to other people will come from how you're feeling inside. So this is something that you can train as well. You can train if you're someone that's a bit shy, a bit, you're a bit anxious about talking to other people, the best way that you can do this, and it's something that I've done time and time again to improve, and sometimes I still have to do, is just to put yourself out there. Do it a bunch of times. That's how you get a bit calmer. You don't get so anxious. And then by being more tranquil, by being calm, you will come across much better. And then when you do this as well, people will respond better to you. So you will know that you don't need to be that anxious because generally people will respond well to you. So you will be more chill. You will have that calm vibe and people will flock to you. I promise. Another thing that's very important in an attractive personality is that you have to have character. And that's something that people can feel, people can sense. You know, that vibe you get from certain used car salesmen or certain realtors or certain people that you look at him and you already know that he's out to get you. You already know that he's only thinking about himself, about what's in it for them. And that's what you don't want to have. That's why you need to be a genuine person. You need to be a person that's really looking for a win-win situation. You know, a person that for you, it's better to don't do the deal. You, let's not do this deal and, you know, just part ways because I don't want to do a deal that's not win-win, a deal, that, a deal that's not good for me and good for you. So you need to think through, through that mindset because if you don't, people will know, people will feel it. And of course, there will be some people that you might sell them a knockoff or, you know, you may do a deal that it's not that good for them, but eventually karma will get you, man. It will get you in your mind. You, you will never be completely calm. You will never have a great life if you know that you're doing wrong, that you're doing things that are harming other people. I promise you that it, it might not be in the short term, it might not be in the midterm, but in the long term, that kind of thing happens and it gets to you. Another thing to have an attractive personality. So the fourth thing is about comprehending, about actually understanding without judging. So when someone comes to talk to you about a problem that they had, you just don't go and blur it out and answer. Yeah, just do this. Just do that. Take a step back and listen to them let them talk many many times what they actually want is just to transmit the feeling that they had with that situation they don't want to actually fix the situation they're just getting it out of their chest and after they got it fully out of their chest then you can either help them with coming to a conclusion you can help them getting a solution or sometimes they just need a hug. So just chill a little bit, let them blur it out, whatever they have to say. And after that, then you see what you do. And that's the final thing I wanna talk about, about the attractive personality today, is being a good listener. So being actually honest, being emp empathic, being neutral. So when they're talking to you, you're not thinking, well, what will I say next? And if he says this, then I have to say that. And if she said this and that, and blah, blah, blah. No, you, you be calm. You try to stay neutral. You don't judge while they're talking to you. you you're not listening through one year and through the other. You're just judging. No, you, you try to maintain a neutral state. Just listen. Don't filter. Let them speak. And try to be empathetic. And being empathetic is trying to understand where they're coming from, understand what they're feeling, understand that situation through their lens. And after that, then if they want you to, then you can give them an answer. Then you can give them 
um, an opinion or help them, whatever the best way to help them might be. So these five things can really help you with developing your personality to be more attractive to people, to opportunities. So helping others, having a good energy, being a person of character that says what you mean and means what you say, of comprehending other people, trying to comprehend other people and being a good listener. Those five steps will put you on the top 5% of communicators, uh, of people that attract other people. So you need to develop the habits of the people that you admire, try to emulate their their strong suits and ad adopt them for yourself. You need to speak clearly and with conviction. And when you talk about other people, always talk about them from a place of integrity and honesty and always give sincere compliments. And that's basically it. If you want to attract what you want, if you want to attract people and opportunities, it's the golden rule. You, you do to others what you want them to do to you. So you treat them as you'd like to be treated. And doing this, being genuinely interested in other people will put you ahead of pretty much everyone because most people, they don't really care about what you have to say. They don't really have the patience to listen and to really go through. And the best salespeople are the people that are blurting out a bunch of things and speaking while you're trying to think. They're the people that help you, lead you through the customer journey. So you understand how you can improve your life with their product, with their service. And this is something that many times introverts don't understand because you think that you need to be super communicative and you can't stop talking or else you will be a terrible salesman. And that's not true. Many times you need to listen more than you speak. Actually, you were made with two ears and one mouth for a reason because we need to listen and to comprehend more than we need to speak out to other people, more than we need to try to shove our ideas into other people. We need to attract them. So it's easier to attract the bees with honey than it is with the poison. So you need to do things that will attract people. You need to be the type of person that will attract other people and that will attract ideas, that will attract value. Because if you're the type of person that's always trying to help someone, if you're always, yeah, maybe I can help you connect with so-and-so that I know that also likes the type of thing that you like. And if you're always willing to talk about the things that they really like, the things that they really cherish, if you're always deeply worried about them and not about the superficial, they will talk about you to people that will help you. Down the line, rest assured, they will always help you. People will always help you because they know that you are someone that can be trusted. You're someone that's interested in them and that's willing to help them and that wants to help them whenever you can. So they will want to help you. So thank you for watching. If you have any friend that wants to develop their personality, develop in a way that they can attract more opportunities, they can attract more great people into their lives, please share this with them. Keep rocking, keep rolling. You are a rock star.